Hi, this is Kelly Vaughn, Document Geek, and in today's video I wanted to show you about a new functionality that I just recently learned about. I don't know if it's new, it's kind of new to me, and I think it's worthwhile that um, people should know about it. I think it'll help them become more at ease in Acrobat, because I, I know it's not the easiest program to use. And uh, so, if, you, um, if you've ever wanted to be able to customize your toolbar, you can. It's not readily apparent how you can. Uh, there's several different ways to do it. I have a whole video talking about how to customize your toolbar and um, I do hope that you go watch that because I guarantee that if you watch that you'll learn something and you will be less frustrated using Acrobat. Uh, the nomenclature that they've used to describe the different parts of the user interface is different than in basically all the other Adobe programs and so I think that's where some of the confusion lies. So I kind of wanted to talk about that quickly before I talk about my primary reason for this video, which is how to make a custom tool. And so in Acrobat, this whole thing right here is considered the toolbar. And I, the reason I know that is because I can show and hide selectively all the things on that toolbar as well as the toolbar itself by going to view, show, hide, toolbar, items. So this is where you selectively show and hide all the little uh, sections of this toolbar. There's, uh, you can also totally hide the toolbar if you want. And uh, they've got some keyboard shortcuts listed in there which are, are really helpful. Wish we could customize them, but you know, at least they list them for us, so that's nice. So we're going to go to show hide. Uh, there's uh, also navigation page, which if you notice these icons here in the left bookmarks, it's the same uh, in this list is over here on the left. And so this left part is considered navigation panes. Uh, and then the right is, well, what's the tool pane? Let's see. Oh, tool pane is on the right. And so this is the tool pane, this is the toolbar, and this is the navigation pane. And I want to contrast that with how it is in, um, oops, I spend a lot of time in every day. These are my top two programs. And so i very intimately familiar with how their user interfaces are totally different. <laughs> so in InDesign, as well as Photoshop and Illustrator and the other Adobe programs, creative programs, apparently creative programs are like in a totally different camp than Acrobat. Acrobat is an island. And so in the creative programs, these are considered tools. Uh, page tool, pen, eyedropper, so on and so forth. This over here, these are considered panels. And they contain things like character panels, paragraph styles, you know, all kinds of useful things. This right here is considered the control bar, and this is considered the application bar, application frame. And so there, they, in InDesign and all the other creative apps, there is very distinctly, they use the word tools very, very specifically for this bar on the left. Now, in Acrobat, it's not like that at all. This is not considered a toolbar. This is considered a, what do they call it? Navigation pane buttons. Uh, these are considered tools. This is considered tools. If you click on any one of these, uh, like big parent level of tools, then you get a whole bunch of even more tools. So it's, it's kind of confusing. Uh, then we have this thing over here called tools. And uh, anyway, <laughs> so I, it's, it's not, I'm not surprised in the least that people are really confused about how to customize the toolbar at the top. Because as users, tools are, you know, and probably for Acrobat people, the, the tools are like things that help us to work. They're, um, they're things that we want to do, functions that we want to perform, and these tools are the, the method that Adobe has given us to perform the functions that we want. And so these are tools. And for those of you that don't like this user interface, I get it. And, you know, I... I I'm kind of on board with you, but I want to show you something really cool about this UI is that it's totally filterable, if that's a word. So the buttons are huge and there's tons of, you know, white space. Some people might call it wasted space. But, you know, if you're like on a touch screen or an iPad or whatever, you can you can press these really easily with your big fat fingers and, you know, you, you won't miss because the buttons are so gigantic. But what's what is really cool about this is that, like, people... Pro users, they complain like, I don't want to have to scroll through all that, and I don't like the clip art, and I don't like the icons, and blah, blah, blah. Okay, 
If you want to find a tool and you don't want to have to read through all this, and I imagine you don't, all you have to do is type the name of the tool that you want. Like, um, I want to, uh, I want to do something with pages. I want to rotate my pages, organize my pages, rearrange my pages, whatever. You type pages, and then the things that have to do with pages come up. And so you just type the name of the tool that you want, which is pretty stinking awesome. And um, another thing to note about about this is, let me open my document again. Document. Okay, so these these tools here are the same ones that were listed back over here in this giant listing. Same thing. Like uh, when I choose, uh, I want to organize pages. I want to add shortcut, and it pops over here in this list. Good to know. All right, so these are basically your favorites from the Big Daddy list. And uh, but if you have other things, other tools that you want that you don't want to have to keep clicking back over here. You just type the name of what you want. And in this case, I want to talk about the organized, no, was it custom custom tools? This was a, a link that Adobe posted recently. Create custom tool. Okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna create custom tool. Custom tool. How about create custom tool? Ha! No, that didn't work. Okay, so normally you can you can just type the name of the tool that you want. But apparently create custom tool doesn't show up in the filterable list over here. You have to go back here and, and then type the name of the tool that you want. Create custom tool. All right, so that's what I want. Now, this is very, very much related to the quick tools in, in Acrobat. And just in case you don't know what quick tools are, quick tools are, quick tools is anything from here over. And so it's it's not super apparent what it is, but just for um, for a little clarification, I'm going to go to view show hide. Toolbar items hide quick tools. So anything from this section over, you can also access that here. Show quick tools. And apparently, like if your icons don't all fit, they're just hiding. I've customized my quick tools with all of my favorites uh, that are, I can just stick them right at the top, which is great. So I want to show you that. Customize quick tools. And this is interesting because it lets you add things up, up at the top. Like I want to add things to the top so I don't have to keep messing with this panel on the right. But the issue is that the... Um, the tools all, all don't all fit. Like I've got three up here. No, I got two. I got the sticky note and the highlighter, and then everything else falls under the ellipses. If I'm on my big monitor, they all fit, but I'm on my laptop, so they don't all fit. Like, what if you didn't know how to keep, didn't want to have to keep clicking on that ellipses? What you would do is you would create a custom tool, which apparently is different than quick tools. And so the difference is that let's see, can I do it here? Nope. The only way that you can create a custom tool is by going over here and choose custom tool, create custom tool. I'm going to, I don't need to add this as a shortcut. This is just like a one-time thing I'm going to do right now. I don't need to access it all the time on the right-hand pane. So what's interesting about this is that it lets you add tools at the top and it lets you add stuff on the right. So apparently this is called a, a custom set. These are called sets of tools. I thought they, you know, maybe call them groups. Apparently, this is the first time I've seen it. It's called a custom set. And so I want to add all my favorite stuff so I don't have to uh, keep clicking on that ellipses. So I will add, I like sticky notes. I like highlights. I like adding text. I love comments. So I'm going to add a bunch of those. Insert text. Beautiful. All right. And then I'm going to choose some other things. I do a lot of editing. I want to I want to add that at the top. Edit link. Yep, love it. Okay. Now, something to notice about here, all of these things I think will probably still be hiding under the ellipses or will they? So, uh, but you know, I also want to add some stuff over here on the right. I want to I'm going to add a bookmark. I'll put that on the right. Um, crop pages. I'll put that on the right. Let's see what else am I going to do? Numbering. I don't know why that has a down arrow. Oh, it's probably like a like a sub like a sub flyout menu or something. Okay. Uh, 
What else? Export PDF. Yeah, I do a lot with that. Export PDF. Export to Word. Okay. And a couple more action wizards. I love custom actions and custom commands. There we go. Put that over there. Great. So I've got half a dozen things up top, half a dozen things or so down here on the right. Let's see if I can, the information panel, there's no way to right click this and rename it. You have to click the I, no, instruction, where is it? Add suction. I found it yesterday. Aha, you click on the pencil icon. They should have put that at the top next to untitled. Edit section name or instruction. So we're gonna call this Kelly's uh, custom tool. Okay, save. Uh, oh, and then, again, I don't know what the difference is here. Kelly's, we'll just call it Kelly's this time. Okay, so here is Kelly's custom tool. And you'll notice that all the things that I put up at the top in the Create Custom Tool menu are up here. All the things I put in the right in the Create Custom Tool menu are here on the right. So what's different about this than Quick Tools is Quick Tools just has all the individual, like all these little things here, they are then hiding under the ellipses and they stay there with, without regard for like whatever tool that you have. So if I'm on the comment tool, those are all there. If I'm on the action wizard tool, all my quick tools are there. Now you, you may notice that the, the, the sub tools within the tool sets, they all change here depending upon which, which larger group of tools I'm working with. Organize pages. This is this bar here, the second bar is specific to the organize pages tool. But again, all my quick tools, they all stay here, up here at the top. Now you you might have also noticed that because this is like a like a secondary toolbar, like a contextual toolbar of sorts, uh, that this color and name here was changing. So when you're on a, a major tool group, all of your tool shortcuts, because they're not here on the right anymore because the, the toolbar has kind of like taken over, um, all of the, the major tool group shortcuts, they show up here on the left. And so these are, these are all my major groups. So if I wanted to go back to my Kelly's tools that I use all the time, I can just choose it from this list and there's all my custom tools, both on the right and both on the left. And I think the, the reason that this might be confusing, besides the fact that you you can't access it here, and you, you there's only one place at the user interface that you can access it, and it's on this screen, which um, I find that most people don't like, um, so they don't even know that it's here. But I, I think the reason that this is confusing is because custom tool, to me, sounds like I need to go out and I need to find a developer that can build what I want, and I need to spec it out, and get a quote and pay them a lot of money. To me, the, in my experience, that's what a custom tool is. It's something that a developer has to build and I have to pay him for it. And so really what I think this should be called is not like a, like a custom tool, like a, I think it should be called a custom workspace or like a, a favorites or something because there's, there's nothing, I, I customized the arrangement of this. Maybe that's what we should call a customized tool arrangement. It's not a, a custom tool in that I had to pay someone to build it for me. It's just a customized collection of tools that already exist within Acrobat. And I put them on the bot on the right and on the top where, where I wanted to. And so, um, yeah, so that's a custom tool. Again, it's different than the quick tools. And the only way that you can access it is by going or create this is by going over here to the tools, uh, the tools, pane or tab, I don't even know what this is called, uh, the tools area and then searching for it. So create a custom tool and that's how you can you can make a custom tool. But I believe um, that this should help this should help speed up your workflow. Like if you have a lot of different tools that you use all the time and uh, you use, let's say, 
you use like eight different things of um, major tool groups back and forth throughout the day and you're tired of clicking and waiting for this to load, you don't have to do that. You could just create a custom tool. Everything will be there just the way you want when you need it. And all of your quick tools will still be there. So like when you're, you know, prepping your files or whatever, like, oh, really quickly, I need a tool, uh, like a, another tool that's not in this list. You can just get it from your quick tools if you have that set up. Anyway, I hope that you've found that useful. And uh, I'm Kelly at uh, Kelly Vaughn Document Geek. The one last thing I did want to share with you that I think is really, really important that I wish more people would use, go to acrobat.uservoice.com. This, uh, a while back, Adobe changed the way that they do their feature requests and bug reports. It used to go into what appeared to be a black hole at Adobe, and so end users could never figure out like what features had been requested and what you know bugs people had been reporting. Like it was, it was uh, all hidden. But they've uh, they've recently opened it up for us, and so it's pretty awesome. You can go and see what all the the big issues are, the things that people want the most. Oh look, T number two item, full tools, menu customization, and. There's uh, 149 votes, 61 comments. It's a it's a pretty big issue. Oh, more toolbars, time-saving toolbars. So, <laughs> so hopefully um, you will go to this website and add your voice, add your comments, because obviously, based on the three of the four top items being toolbar issues, um, people are talking, and uh, Acrobat team is listening and trying to help. And so I hope that you will go and contribute to the user voice page and um, maybe share some of the things that you've learned. And anyway, this is, um, this is me. I'm Kelly Vaughn, Document Geek, and I hope that you found this video useful. Thanks.